just a couple of weeks ago, our company had a had a large HPE GreenLink update where we've announced that we have over 50 different workloads that we can offer within the walls of Equinix, all as a private cloud service. And uh, you know, you know, we we don't have data centers at HPE. Uh, we need your data centers for our workloads, our GreenLink workloads. So it's just the perfect fit. And customers now who are saying they're cloud first, it, it is cloud first. It's all as a service. The, the Equinix facility, the smart hands, the Equinix fabric, uh, all the other Equinix services coupled with the green lake workloads, and you are cloud adjacent. You have that sub one millisecond latency to your cloud resources that are outside of that estate. So I don't know how it could be any better. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's you know, here at Equinex, we, we've gone in our own uh, journey around providing digital services to customers as well, and many of which, you know, uh, HP GreenLake also leverages for our joint offers. Um, traditionally, Equinex has been a co-location company, um, but same thing, as just like you said, customers didn't no longer want to deal with managing their own data centers where uh, Equinex was a great fit for that. They also no longer want to manage a lot of the CapEx related hardware pieces that go into the data centers. Right. So that's where, you know, uh, where, where HP GreenLake has provided a lot of value to the customers. And in uh, many cases on the networking side, Equinex has provided our digital services, um, specifically around things like Equinex Fabric and Equinex Network Edge, to be able to help turn up services, networking services, in an as 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 a service function mm -hmm. um, to be able to tie into that infrastructure that they're also bringing along with uh, with HPE GreenLake. So many of the customers now realize that that first of all, you know, they have options uh, for as a service. It doesn't all have to be in a public cloud service, a shared environment. It can be in a private environment that's also as a service, but then adjacent to the workloads that should be in a shared environment. And they realize that being on your fabric. They are a, a a heartbeat away, a sub one millisecond, you know, link away, private link away, low egress cost away, to making that that hybrid connection, and that's what's so critical. They can't do that with their own facilities. They don't have the the carriers and the the cloud providers right there on, as you said, a fabric as a service, which is such a beautiful thing. Yeah, and ultimately, when I when I talk to our customers, it's really about where the workload should sit. There are workloads that can and uh, do uh, run in the cloud, um, mm -hmm. but there again, Absolutely. on the flip side, there are workloads, data that should not be in the cloud and should reside on prem, um, if I can use that term, uh, in customer owned uh, and managed equipment. Um, and like you said, no better place than uh, Equinix to house that because it is at the cloud edge. So really it provides a true, uh, you know, uh, a hybrid cloud um, uh, deployment. I, I still have this visual of, of an image that, that came from your company to where it says, not all workloads should rely res, reside in the public cloud. And it shows your data centers in Ashburn, Virginia, surrounded by the cloud providers. And really we know most of the time they're in your data center Anyways, right? And so th it's all about, you know, that location, location, location. It's the classic real estate discussion, right? It's about location. And the fact that we can offer these workloads as a service in the right location with the right connectivity is so unique. And it's the, it's the perfect solution for our customers and our partners who don't have that right now, right? And they need that. They want as a service, uh, they want um, the data center included, and they want the cloud connectivity included, and we can do all three. <laughs>